So I never thought that I would be paying for email, but here I am using Superhuman paying $10 a month or $120 a year, or if I'm not a student paying $30 a month, which amounts to $360 a year for just checking email. And it's really weird to think of paying for email because think of it like messages, WhatsApp or Messenger asking you to pay money to check messages, which is pretty weird of an idea, but Superhuman has essentially gamified and made the process of email very smooth, efficient and effective, which is why I've started using it and I highly recommend for anyone who has an overload of email at work or in school to definitely give Superhuman a try, if not for a year, at least for a month. It's invitation only, so you might want to reach out to your friends or someone who could refer you to use superhuman. So in this video, I'm going to show you why I really like superhuman and what is my superhuman workflow. Wow, that, that sounds a bit weird. Okay, so getting right to it. Superhuman's claim to fame and its main thesis is that it makes conversations super, super fast, which means that you can get to get through any email in like 100 milliseconds or so, which is what the inventor of Gmail had originally envisioned. And superhuman's idea is to reinvent Gmail as if it's made for today, not as if it were made for 12 to 15 years ago. And it does this through really two things. First, it treats each email like a task, which is great because it clarifies the entire process of when you get an email, whether you need to do anything at that moment, whether you can archive it for reading it later, or whether you need to respond to it instantly in the next two minutes, or whether you don't need to do anything. And just having this clarity at the very framework level of Superhuman makes email not a chore, but rather a meaningful task. And the second reason why Superhuman is super duper great is because it makes email into like a game and it gamifies the entire process, which essentially takes away the maintained aspects of doing or going through email and infuses the entire process with a ton of little elements that make the process very rewarding. But even going one step meta, I would say that Superhuman is great because it combines productivity with collaboration. Two things that were initially thought to be distinct and not connected in any way. Productivity was originally thought to be user-centric and something for your own specific workflow. And collaboration was specifically thought of, well, collaborating with other people and contributing to a larger task or a collective workflow. So that was my quick spiel on the entire philosophy and notion of why Superhuman is great and why it's, well, super. And now I'm gonna go through a few important features that I thought were just awesome in making my superhuman workflow just super. So yeah, let's go through my superhuman workflow. I want to take you through five key things that I find to be really unique about superhuman and that make it essentially a wonderful app. The first is keyboard shortcuts. The second is superhuman's command line interface. The third is the split inbox feature. And the fourth and fifth are essentially the unsubscribe feature and the entire experience of writing an email. So this is my work email, which is pretty overloaded, as you can see already. But uh, Superhuman allows me to get through this entire overloaded inbox really, really fast. And it does this through a few keyboard shortcuts that I think are extremely nice. So the first one is to scroll through emails, which uh, can be done by J and K. The second one is C, which allows you to compose a new email. Uh, the third one is to mark something as done. So if I want to mark this email as done, I can just press E, E again, and you know I can quickly just mark them as done, which essentially archives the email. The fourth is to essentially toggle whether an email is unread or not. The fifth is to star an email or not, which again, you can access through through multiple tabs, which I'll get through later, but essentially these were the few key keyboard shortcuts that allow you to just navigate through Superhuman and all of your emails really fast. There are other shortcuts also like pressing H on an email, which tells you to whether to remind you uh, about that email on <laughs> even someday, or um, it really does it well because you can essentially just write in five days or in five weeks or things like that, which essentially allow you to just go through email really fast and essentially triage and think about when you want to go through which kind of email. And then again, 
without essentially moving my mouse, which I haven't done up until now. I can just press the escape key, which on my MacBook Pro, I have just set at, I've just set it as the caps lock because the escape key is not there and uh, I, I don't really like the touch bar. So that was pretty much as for the shortcuts. There are other things also, which I'll get through later, but um, these were the few key shortcuts that make Superhuman great. The second is the command line interface. So let's say if I have all these emails and let me go through another inbox. So I'm going to press con control two to go to my school inbox, which is this, as you can see, this is like inbox zero, which is great, but getting to know about the command line interface through this is pretty, pretty nice. So let's say over here, I have all these features, which I can just use just by going on specific emails. So let's say I have a tab for NYT in which I get all the newsletters from New York Times and I want to use the command line interface on this particular email. So I press command K and I can either mark it, mark it as done, remind me, star, move, label, remove from label, remove all labels, trash it or open link or literally mark red or do anything with it. And I can even say remind me and then it will take me to the remind me um, feature and then I can just, you know, use natural language and um, tell Superhuman to remind me on a specific date or a specific time. And that is really cool because let's say if I'm in this email and I press enter to respond and I want to just, you know, press command line interface again. Uh, I mean, go, go to the command line interface again. I can do that and I have all these shortcuts right listed out. Uh, which is great because I can just then access these shortcuts in one go um, and build that muscle memory which will allow me to not use my mouse and make everything super fast and that is just awesome. So let's say if I want to create a snippet from a draft which is something that is also unique about Superhuman. Um, you know a classic, a classic re response will be sorry for the late reply I only got to this now. Now I want to create a snippet of it, which means that if I'm getting through emails uh, really slowly and I want to use this snippet, instead of typing this out every now and then, what I can use, what I can do is I can press Command and the colon key, which allows me to create a snippet. I create a snippet and I say sorry. And I essentially type that again. Sorry for the late reply. I only got to this now, which is pretty standard response that we all see in most emails. I press command done. I press the escape key. And now if I want to, so I can delete this draft first by pressing command shift and comma, which deletes it. Now I press enter and now I want to use snippets. So I'm going to press command K. I'm going to go to use snippets. I have this right in front of me and that's it. I have this done in a matter of few clicks rather than just typing this out again and again. And over a period of time, this sort of compounds and adds up and really helps you get through email really, really fast. So that was for the command line interface. Um, now, as for the split inbox feature, Superhuman split inbox feature is great because it moves away from Gmail's traditional five inbox feature, which is inbox, which is primary, and then social updates, promotions, and forums. And it does that by allowing you to split and create multiple tabs for specific kinds of emails. So as you can see over here, I have a tab for the New York Times. And if I go to my newsletter or rather my other inbox, which is not so important, um, let me see if I want to create a separate tab for Equity Guru, which is a newsletter that I'm subscribed to. And I want to add it to a new split. So I can either add it to my new split so I add it over here or I can literally create another split um, for let's say the New Yorker. So 
I can split it on, I can split my inbox on New Yorker's newsletter, which essentially creates another tab, or I can add it to my new split like I did for Equity Guru. So over here, I'm going to create a new tab altogether. So let me split it over here and I can just type it as New Yorker and I don't need any subject. So I'm just going to create the split. And now all the emails that I've ever got till date from the New Yorker will all come in this inbox, which is super great because it allows you to get through inbox, your entire overloaded inbox really, really fast. And then obviously you can unsubscribe from um, newsletters that aren't quite relevant for you. So let's say if I want to unsubscribe from StubHub, I can just press Command U and either I can trash all emails from StubHub that I've received till date, or I can just unsubscribe. But I'm gonna trash all these emails, so I'm just gonna press this also. And in one, in a matter of a few clicks, I've essentially unsubscribed and deleted all the other uh, not so important emails from my inbox. And just having the access and the ability to do this is what makes Superhuman, well, great. Um, so yeah, I guess that was pretty much it. I've also used Superhuman for archiving a bunch of things. And that is also pretty rewarding because Superhuman allows you to get through email just by scrolling rather than the Gmail's restriction, which allows you to view only 50 to 100 emails on one page. And just having this fast loading uh, allows you to just get through your inbox really, really fast. So let's say if I'm going through all these emails that I've received till date from the New York Times, and I want to just um, uns uh, archive all of these emails up until 8th of April 2019. I've selected all of these and with one tap of, an, of the E button, I can just get rid of these very smoothly. And that is something that's super valuable to me because um, if you do that to your regular emails and you get, and you get to inbox zero, I think that is just amazing. And that is something that's uh, extremely valuable about Superhuman. Um, so yeah, I guess that was pretty much it. My This was my Superhuman workflow. I guess there's nothing special about it at its core, but I just wanted to show um, how Superhuman works. And because I, wasn't, because I wasn't able to find any video that takes you through the entire UI of Superhuman uh, as uh, efficiently and as easily, I just wanted to make this video and, you know, just let you guys know about how Superhuman is doing a great job at making email fast. Hope you liked it. Thank you so much.